folks, how we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. Gonna take you on a bit of a tour around the property today. Have a lot of projects planned yet for the fall. Again, our first year at this place out here, the new homestead, and I'm biting off more than I can chew. I don't know if I can get to it all, but I wanna show you what we have going on. Videos coming in the future, that kind of thing. And now is the time, if you got some helpful advice on uh, what I should do, now's the time to share that before I get too deep into this stuff. So starting up towards the front, we're sitting on the gravel drive expansion that we've uh, got partially underway and, and more work to do there. Previously, I'd, I'd shown you this area where I um, took down a big pile of, of old logs and brush and everything else and kind of spread it along and it's already starting to kind of get grown over. I want to put wildflowers in here. And so I had rotor raked it originally wasn't 100% happy with the results, so yesterday I came out, dissed the whole thing up, and another pond that we have right behind there. Then I came back through with a rotor rake and smoothed it all back out, and I'm much happier with these results. And I will say I'm, I'm, I'm liking that rotor rake the more time that I have on it. But this is a good time of year to plant perennial wildflowers, and so we're going to get that in the ground sometime soon. This project for sure is going to get done, but we have a lot more on our list. So now we're down in the woods, have a little creek crossing here, and you guys saw me uh, not too long ago get stuck down in there and kind of dig my way out with a bucket. It's just too challenging to try to get across the way that it is, and I'm still up in the air if I want to put, oh, almost like a, a low kind of rock, crushed rock, you know, big riprap kind of path to go right through there or put in a culvert and, uh, and put gravel and everything else around it. Um, need to do something so I can get to the other side of, of the, the creek here. Not sure what I'm gonna do. I don't think this is a big project though. It won't take too long to get done. Just a matter of doing it. to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. All right, so here's a look at the garden. Obviously overgrown, weeds got a little out of control this year, um, but pumpkins still grew well, watermelons still grew well, corn did horrible, tomatoes did so-so. Um, but what I wanna do for next year is expand this garden. I'm hoping to uh, uh, work it up this fall, kind of get it prepped. I wanna get it all fenced in, right? So the wildlife doesn't get in there either and got a lot of post holes to dig. So we're gonna see how that goes. Um, but my thought is that uh, I wanna kind of turn it into a giving garden and have just a whole boatload of pumpkins, for example, uh, take them to local pantries, that kind of thing, and just have something fun that the kids and I can do. We can have plenty of them for ourselves, give away to friends and family, and then take all, everything else to diff different pantries around here and just kind of give them away because, you know, pumpkins at Halloween are kind of a luxury and they're pretty expensive for folks. So it'd be fun to do. Uh, I'm going to expand that out and, and I'm sure we'll have plenty of space to plant other stuff too for ourselves and, and whatever else, but it uh, should be a good time and it's going to be a big undertaking. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, this one I really do want to make sure I get done this fall. I think it'd be kind of a mess to deal with it um, without getting it done in the winter time. But I want to put, well, it looked like it had gravel all around the barn at one point, and it's just kind of completely overgrown. I'm hoping I can maybe use that rotor rake and bring some of it back to life. I'll probably have to bring in some more gravel. I want to expand it to the back side of the barn too and kind of make this uh, the parking pad for all the trailers that I have, a good natural location for them out of the way. There was a burn pit here from the previous owner um, where he burned off all sorts of stuff and there's like an old mattress box spring and all sorts of stuff in there and I've added some things to it, boxes and burned those off. So I'm gonna get all that out of there. Um, try to get that done this fall. I think that'll really clean out the place and then that way all of my attachments I can also have sitting on, on gravel instead of uh, kind of in the weeds and the grass and everything else. I think that'll be a lot nicer for those two. Now I know what you're thinking, it'd be awesome to store everything inside, but I have just way too many attachments to, uh, to do that. I'd have to have a barn five times as big in order to fit all those in there without having to pack things away on a constant basis. So I am gonna have them sitting outside. I, I may look into somehow building a cover for those at some point. Um, if you've got some ideas for that, I'd love to hear them. So this is going to be one of the biggest projects I've ever done in my life and <laughs> we're going to see how it goes. But I'm putting in a soccer field out here in this pasture and we've got to move a lot of dirt around. I've had a couple of quotes to bring in somebody who knows what they're doing. Um, and I can rent a dozer and if I screw things up, no big deal. They still come in. I paid them the big bucks to come in and, and fix it all anyways. Um, but I get a lot of time behind a dozer, learning how to use that, seeing if I can take a crack at it for like less than 10% of the cost to pay somebody else to do it. So I'm hoping to do that this fall, get the soccer field started, you know, the right pitch, the right drainage, all that kind of stuff. Got to get a sprinkler system in, got to seed it. I don't think it's all going to happen this fall, but I can at least get a good start and keep tackling it, chipping away at it in the spring. <music> Last but not least, we're going to be continuing our gravel drive expansion back onto the barn. Um, Chris has expressed his concern with losing the the aesthetics of it, kind of the two-lane, you know, drive going back with the, the grass and everything else. And, and believe me, I like the look of that. And this time of year, it's very appealing. However, come wintertime, or even fall and spring, when it's wet season and it's ruddy and muddy and hard to get through and navigate, it's a totally different story and so uh, you got to plan for all seasons and as much as I'd like to leave it like this, save the money, save the effort and whatnot, it's, uh, it's something that's got to get done. You know, we use this drive a lot, anticipate using it a lot in the future, trucks, trailers, whatever, you name it, we're using it. So got to make it usable in all seasons and um, it's something that's definitely high on the priority list to tackle this fall. <music> So that's about it. It doesn't seem like a lot when you drive around and, and talk about it for a few minutes, but um, it's a heck of a lot of work that I have coming up and, and that's okay. If we don't tackle it all this fall, I'm going to make my priority list and knock the rest of it out in the springtime. But, um, you know, part of the reason we're doing that soccer field is, you know, uh, our kids are in travel soccer. Um, they, they enjoy playing soccer. They love it. I've always thought it would be a lot of fun to put in a field like that. I like to mow the lawn um, when I can, so maintaining a field like that would be pretty sweet. I like the challenge of it, but also they're having a struggle getting field time. There's just a shortage of field. So if, if I can put a field out here, we have the space uh, to do it, can have everybody over here, whether it's for practices or on weekends, just to kick the ball around and, or just play around with the kids. Uh, it'd be a fun thing to do. So I'm gonna give it a shot. But what this means is these are all sorts of video opportunities for me to show off the tractor tools that I sell. And so that's what I like to do is, is be a little different from the normal dealer. Uh, show you the stuff in action, how to use it, how not to use it, uh, the trial and errors of, of doing different projects for the first time, and some of them, gravel drives, I, 
I think I'm, I'm not an expert at it, but I'm, I'm getting pretty efficient at getting set, something set up the right way for that too. Um, but a lot of trial and error and, and just a different look at it, a different take on, on the business, I guess. So uh, if you enjoyed that, we'd love to have you tag along. Hit that subscribe button right down below, completely free. And if you are looking for something for your tractor or your skid steer or even your UTV, we can probably help you. Go to goodworkstractors.com. We sell and ship all over the country. So I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.